There's a new movie coming out, right? Yeah, Star Wars. Star Wars, and we're super excited. Today we're going to draw a cool little character from them. Porg, a yeah, porg. Yeah, porgs. They're like these weird little dodo birds. Yeah. I can't wait to see how <laughs> what they do in the movie. Yeah. So we hope you're going to follow along with us. you got a marker and some paper. But today is Monday, so we're also doing something at the end of today's video. Yeah. What is it? Showing off your art. Yes, and we're also going to feature or spotlight two artists. So be sure to stay till the very end. Now we're also going to give away this cool Porg Pop toy. He looks so funny. Yeah. Now I love these little characters. I think Chewbacca might even eat them at, yeah. <laughs> in the movie. But we're going to draw him and we're also going to give away this toy at the very end. So be sure to stay so that you know how to enter to win this guy. All right, we're going to draw our little Porg's eyes and we're going to draw two circles. And we don't want to draw them too big because they're kind of small eyes. Well, they're kind of big, but he's kind of a small character. <laughs> good now in the top right we're going to draw smaller circles and this is for the light reflected in his eyes little light catchers okay now let's color in the big circle but leave the little ones white now we're going to draw the top of our porg head and it's a big rainbow line we're going to start down below his eyes and we're going to draw a big upside down u that goes over the top of his eyes. <laughs> now it's already starting to look like him. Yeah. <laughs> then we're going to draw another one of these, but smaller, and it's for his mouth. So we're going to draw another one, comes up, and then back down. <laughs> I like their faces. <laughs> then we can draw his little nostrils, and they're just two little dots right next to each other. Good. Now we're going to draw his body, and we're going to draw a big U, but we're going to leave a little gap next to his head. So we'll start here. And we're going to draw a big U, comes over, back up, and we want to leave these little gaps so that we can draw his wings. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Yeah. I like the general shape of his body. It looks like a bean. Yes. Okay, now we're going to draw his wings. And we're going to draw a line that comes down and then connects in. Almost looks like the letter J, backwards J. And then we're going to repeat that same line over here on the other side. Oh, his arms are way smaller than that. <laughs> That's okay. We're practicing. Okay, now let's draw his legs. We're going to draw two legs, two lines that come down on each side for each leg. It kind of looks like he has duck legs. duck legs. Yeah. So we got those. Okay, now let's draw, we're going to draw a sideways U on each side for the first little toe. Then we're going to draw a bigger line that comes out. And we can draw that same line on the other side since it's symmetrical, same on both sides. And then we're going to draw a W or an N. So we'll go up, back down, and then we'll connect into his little toe. Yeah, and then we'll do the same thing over here. Up, down, and then connect back in. <laughs> okay, now on the end of his toes, it has little, looks like little toenails. So we'll draw an upside down U on each toe for his little talons. <laughs> we did it, man. Okay, now we still need to do one last thing. He's gonna look even more like a porg once we do what? Color him. Yeah, we gotta color him. He'll look even better. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it so that you match the same color. All right, we finished coloring our porgs. They look so much better yeah. now that they got that cool texture. And we used uh, short strokes so that he looks really furry mm -hmm. or feathery. Now you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. We use this golden color for his feet and also around his eyes. And then we use gray and black for the shading. All right, what should we do with this guy? Uh, give him away. Yeah, let's give him away to one of our awesome art friends. Now ask your parents below this video to leave a comment. What should they leave a comment about? What's your favorite Star Wars character? Tell us what your favorite Star Wars character is. That would be awesome. We want to know. And then we'll pick a winner tomorrow morning and we'll announce it in the comments below. We hope you have fun drawing your porgs with us. Yes, we do. We hope you have a lot of fun. Now one way that would be awesome to finish your drawing is to draw a lot more porgs and even draw the island or the rocks oh, yeah. in the background. Now every single Monday we do something. What do we do? Spotlight. Yes, we pick two artists to spotlight. Do you want to announce them? Yeah. All right, our first artist that we're spotlighting this Monday 
is... Amelia. Amelia. And check it out, man. Yeah. She drew the lion. And do you think she did a good job? Yeah. She did an amazing job. It's so awesome. I love all of the detail work that she did on the mane. And I love the texture that she did with, with her colored pencils, too. Mm -hmm. She is such an amazing artist. I love all the details in this yeah. drawing. Congratulations on being our first Spotlight, Amelia. Be sure to check your email because we're going to send her something. What are we sending An her? Amazon gift card. Yeah, for $20 to buy more art supplies. Okay, our second spotlight is... Grace! Yeah! Isn't that a cute picture of Grace? Yeah. She's got all of her art around her, and she's even got a little bunny in the background. Bunny! <laughs> like bunnies. <laughs> and how old is Grace? Five. Yeah, she's five years old. Can you believe that? Look at all of her. She even did the lion drawing, and she's yeah. five years old. <laughs> she did awesome, and I love her coloring. It looks like she uses markers to color her drawings, uh -huh. which is awesome. We never, we've never used markers, but I think it looks really nice. Now, the thing I really like about Grace, too, is that she has fun teaching her neighbor friends how to draw. And I think that's <laughs> awesome that she shares her art with her neighbors. That's what we like to do. Yeah. We like to share our art. And do you know what the name of her bunny is? Uh, what? Fluffy. <laughs> I love fluffies. <laughs> Congratulations, Grace, on being our second spotlight. Now we're going to send you $20 also for some art supplies, so be sure to check your email. Now we love getting your art, and you can send it to us each week because each Monday we pick two new spotlights. So how do their parents send it to us? Take a photo and send it to myart at artforkidshub.com. Yes, myart at artforkidshub.com. Now we still need to do one last thing today. What is it? Show your art! <laughs>